Thanks for tuning in. I'm Yolanda. I'm Tanya. And I'm Lori. And you're watching The, the Paradox, Paradox Report. Report. Ladies, please tell me you happen to see, you catch the last episode of Love and Hip Hop. Absolutely. What Loving you, it. Yeah, me too. What, what do you ladies think about Chrissy getting all up in Samaya's face when she's supposed to be working with, you know, her man Jim Jones? You think that's professional? Like, what do you think Well, about first, that? I would just like to say, actually, Samaya was the one that got up in Chrissy's face. And all Chrissy did was walk past her and give her a dirty look. So Maya's the one that took it upon herself to go step to her in the bathroom. And Chrissy just basically addressed her and she did address her. I think that Samaya was a little brave to be like, you got a problem out working with your man? To me, that was a little, I, you a know. A little scripted, perhaps? I, I don't know. This <laughs> Even if it was, I mean, that I don't know. I don't much. know if somebody would allow themselves to be scripted to be dissed about your bottom teeth <laughs> and your shoes. <laughs> so you would, might want to try to get along with the girlfriend of the man that you're trying to get put on by. But Chrissy was always uh, already on the defense about the whole Samaya issue. Because remember when they were looking at her online and whatnot. So she had already been, I, I would like to say, a bit insecure about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. However, I don't believe that she should really be confronting um, Jim's artist right. or potential artist because that's his money. Right. But allegedly, I hear through the grapevine that Chrissy is, is uh, insecure and always on the defense with him when it comes to any woman anyway. See, when she came in, she didn't say anything to her when she came to the studio. Right. She did She took a fly. She even said, you look nice on your flyers. Okay. Mm -hmm. She but, did. you know, at the, at the club, she did step to her, though. She was yeah. brave. <laughs> Coming in the bathroom. Oh, well, you mad? Because I'm working well, with you know, your she man. she is an ex-gangbanger, so not that I don't know. If that's think about, um, like, Samaya on the show, the way she's portraying herself. You know, she's like... I don't know if you know you saw the last episode mm -hmm. where she didn't was acting like she didn't really want to take any sexy pictures. She's like, I don't want to, you know, I'm not selling my set myself. I'm se I'm not selling sex. I'm selling, you know, I'm selling music. But kind of contradicts herself because you know you see when you look up online, she has yeah. all these half naked pictures, sexy pictures. You know, she's beautiful. She yeah, she even went as far to say that she'll sleep on a, a park bench before she'd actually pose in a pair of panties. But, but she's, she's like, like, I mean, I'm, I'm not hating you know, on trying to struggle. Anybody that's trying to do something. Positive. I, I wish her all the best for her career, and Absolutely. I hope that she finds success. Yes. However, sex sells. Speaking of sex sells, <laughs> what do you what do you ladies think about uh, Skepta? Um, I don't know if you people out there know about him, but he's a new artist from the UK, and he has this song in this video called "All Over the House," where he's just having uncensored sex through the whole video. What do you what do you like? Think about I was it? just a bit swaggered <laughs> behind it. I, I mean, I didn't think there would be that much sex throughout the entire video. It, it was. Is it a little or is it a video? That's what I could I say I it's make porn it with music in the background. To me, it was a porno. I'm trying to figure out, what's his name? Skepta. Skepta. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, is Skepta trying to pursue? In the video, I can't lie, it had my attention from the beginning to the end. And I forgot it was even a video. I thought it was a porn with the soundtrack at that, you know? Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I was like, hey, right. this, this, this is the first porn I've heard even rap in the background. <laughs> first, you know. Yeah. But um, I don't know what to say about it, because I know they have that whole uncut... And you know, you know, t I guess you got people who like that. You know, so you can't. You know. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying uh, to you ladies before that. I think that if it were actually being aired on regular television, which I, I doubt it can be in the UK, then I'd be a little offended. But being yeah, it's online, yeah, you know, it's where it, it needs to it be. Is. It's under the yeah. freaky hip hop section. So <laughs> you know, if you want to get your freak hip hop on, check out. Skepta. Skepta. And Paris Rocks. Yes. Oh, she's a porn star, yes, right? Yes, she's, she's a porn star. Great tattoo, by the way, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that brings us to our topic of the day. Um, last week we told you that we were going to talk about threesomes. Um, you know, we just wanted to discuss basically does it help your relationship? Does or it damage cause harm? You. Right. Does it damage your relationship or cause harm in any, uh, you know, in any sort of way? I mean, you know, me personally, I've never had one. I'm. Seriously, I hate to say never, but I never think I'm going to happen. I really seriously doubt because I like to have feelings for the person that I'm with and I can't see myself sharing. And if a person, you know, if the person that I'm with has that thought in their head, then that's going to give me second thoughts about that person. What do you you know, whether or not you're in a long-term relationship, you know, it has the potential to break you up. Or you might wake up and he's boning the third person. Or later on, he's going to see her or she's coming to your house. So I, I just don't think it's a good idea altogether if you're in a serious relationship. You know, I think damage that I've heard good mm, yeah. because to me, when you have emotions for people and then you bring other people into your bedroom, it kind of turns things upside down. A lot of times the man 
prefers a girl that you want him to the threesome, and it just opens up to me. A whole, it opens up a whole door of freakiness. It's forbidden. That why go into? You it's know what I'm saying? It's forbidden fruit, is what it is. And whenever right, it's forbidden fruit. That, you know, and then the, you know, this, you exactly. that negative. That temptation is always going to be there. Yeah. Like, like you said, I think there's going to be in more situations the statistics of the 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 negative would weigh out way out way more so outweigh that of the positive. I think you have more bad yeah. turnouts than good turnouts. Like I know one good turnout. Like a, you know, I know a female uh, whose her mom is she's an African American. She's married to an Italian, okay. and they're older. I don't know, maybe in their fifties, and they've been together for a long time, maybe twenty something years. And you know, they they have uh, three sons, but they have to both agree on it. They you know they agree that you don't. So it's their lifestyle, enough. pretty much. Right, but but she likes women. You know, she's attracted to women, okay. and they don't let the the other well, woman like get into their personal life. They, it's just sex, and that's it. And it, and it helps them. Like they've gotten so much. My, my, when also was about to do that.